Hi there, this is your modern shaman Maria Maria in Rainbowland with the weekly forecast for the week with the weekly heartful report <laughs> with the weekly heartful report for the week that starts at I just thought that that would be a, a better name for the reports for the week that starts at the 14th and goes until the 22nd um, of uh, August 2018 and uh, as I've started to start out the the report and this being the collective heartful report uh, I start them with the song the song that's most uh, appropriate that I channel it comes to me and this week of course it also involves something personal for me but it's the song even when you don't know I am on your side Even when you lost you Even when you think you're all alone I am on your side yeah. I'll be right behind you Keep on growing In whichever way the wind is blowing I will be there till the world stops turning, stops turning. Baby, I will keep this fire burning, fire burning. When nobody else is, I'll be on your side. Yeah. Even when you lost your faith and love Even when there is no light above Even when you want to run and hide I'll be on your side yeah, yeah. And what is the song about? Baby, I will keep this fire burning fire burning Mooney died yeah if you've watched this channel and followed it you know that I have been having my little love dog right next to me by my side physically 3d wise in all the reports that I made from Denmark not from Tokyo she was with me for 15 years Mooney my love and we buried her in here three days ago just as I uploaded the other report from last week, or oh, I finished uploading them just before she died, I... Yeah, so here is her grave. And in this video you will also see us saw the poem that I made for her. And in there you can see the whole story of what she was and what she has been giving me and the point of me for all of you, so that this is not only about my private life, and this report is that now we had the last eclipse of the three eclipses of the eclipse season and we still feel the repercussions of the eclipse now this week of course um, and uh, so the reason why I, uh, I think that I, I got the keep this fire burning song uh, is because eclipses are about endings and letting go you know, something coming to the surface that has been ending for a while because eclipses are always just things coming to the surface that has been on the way for quite some time. It's not never just something new, but that's when it comes to the surface for everyone to be able to see what's going on. And um, in this case, the song is about that because of course new things then can enter when we let go. But the good things and the love always stays. The love always stays and I feel Mooney in my heart still. I know like she lies down here right under the stone here and next week uh, I have, I'm gonna give her a gravestone. I've been meditating here so beautifully. Um, <clears throat> nothing out of true love never really dies. I said that last week as well. 
Keep This Fire Burning is a song that my mom kept playing inside of me, channeled it to me because she was there since nine years ago as we had the eclipse on the other side, you know, when the North Node was in Aquarius. Uh, because every nine year we have the eclipses on the same axis. So what happened nine years ago for you? What happened 18 years ago for you? What happened 18, 18 years ago for you is a, a kind of like a repetition. Let me see if I can sit up something here. Like being too cold. So whatever happened, like, no, let me just sit on the grave. That's a, a good thing about the grave, actually being a bench. Um, so if you think 18 years back, uh, uh, back what happened, and nine years back, what ha happened similarly to it, but just in another way. So, uh, Keep this fire burning was my, my mom died nine years ago, so she, she would keep on playing that song. Even when you don't know, I'll be on your side. Even when you lost your faith in love, even when there is no light above, even when you want to run and hide, I'll be up by your side. There's always someone for us from the heavens, uh, you know, the guides we have, past loved ones. Um, it's always someone by our, our side, even though we think we aren't. We are never alone. Never. This is what we need to remember. So no matter how frustrated you are right now, I mean, if you could look upon yourself, if you could, if you were, you know, to see yourself in 10 years from now and you, were stand, you, you could stand in front of yourself and tell yourself one thing right now, what would it be? Which advice would you give yourself right now? that you already know that you would give yourself, but that you forget to follow. Give yourself that advice. Right now we still have the Mars-Uranus square uh, active. And Uranus is an Earth sign, so it's time for us to manifest. But as we have Mars moving back uh, it, later this week, no, actually Monday, the 13th, so already for this week, it's because I'm filming this uh, Sunday, uh, because I have to have many readings, personal readings, um, that I have to prepare for. Have, yeah. So long story short, it's better uh, for me to do it Sunday. So tomorrow, actually, Uranus will be back in uh, Monday the 13th, which, uh, as you see, this was Monday, back mon Monday. Um, Uranus moved back into uh, <coughs> Capricorn, and the, and the square that's been going on since um, the second week of May, is still very active. So, so the thing is that, uh, of course, there are some things that aren't seems, doesn't seem to glide, and we have contracts that, that are being unsigned, and, and things falling away, breaking breaking away, for, in order for new things to 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 come in and the right things to come in. That's also what we have to remember. And Mars is going back into an Earth sign, as we have Uranus in an Earth sign. So it's very, it's time to be realistic because Mars is moving back into the sign where Saturn is, and Saturn is making the the, the trine, and and as as Mars is, is making the square, but getting a little further away from the square though, uh, as we as we go into next week's report. But but enough for it to be active. So it's it's a combination of tension. Tension, parts of you that, that, that uh, have to, you know, accept and realize that you cannot manifest everything you want right now. It's time to manifestation because it's Earth energy. It's time to make things real and get the manifest. Well, where's my heart? You need to see. We need to see my heart always. Um, it's time to get ma things manifested. But as we... Uh, as we both have the square and we have the trine, it will be possible for you to manifest the things that you came here to do as a light worker. You know, it's now is not the time to just manifest the things for fun. We can manifest them later on, but now is like very, very crucial times for us to do the job we came here to do. You know, the story we came here to tell each and every one of us, when we follow our hearts, we still have this the last week of the Sun in Leo. And the Sun in Leo. The sun in Leo is when we go into the center of our heart and fight like the brave heart, the lion hearted people, light workers for love, our weapons being in love, our purpose being love, our means, everything comes from love and everything that comes from love is right, 
right now, but not just the joy and, and hanging around and, you know, getting the, the may, there may be stuff in your life that you've dreamt of all your life because we have Jupiter and Scorpio. So of course, you know, with Jupiter and Scorpio, um, we feel what, what our hearts true on the deepest, very, very deepest level. We feel what we desire and want the most in our life. It's so vibrant and to the surface right now, but we have to choose. You know, life has already chosen for us and we have to remember that when we have, you know, we have a horoscope and the horoscope tells us about our core purpose, our schedule, the cards we have on our hands, the tools we have in our backpack, the different, you know, magical, magical poise, you know, and, and whatever we have, good things, bad things what we carry around and how we can use it. That's what our horoscopes tells us, what our forces are. But we, we can also, we can always contact our heart for answers because we know and hold all answers inside of us. And this time, these times, we feel what we truly, really want and desire. And we, if you're in any doubt, meditate with Neptune and in the Pisces, meditate upon it, go into the forest, take a walk when you get stressed. Mars in, Sagitt uh, in Aquarius is learning to be detached from the ego. It's learning because uh, Mars is usually my wants, my what I want to do, uh, serve towards, and da, da, da. but in, in, uh, in Aquarius it's detaching from the ego being this one thing and starting to see itself as a unity with the rest and not putting, uh, you know, your name upon so, so much upon of oh, there, but I, but I am a, a singer, or I am an astrologer, and you are just a, you know, or whatever. Or I am the king of uh, whatever, or whatever you think that you are that makes you you. It's not because we still have North Node Leo. It's not that I'm telling you not to to have that as well. Of course, we need to integrate all elements. But with Mars here, it's very important to know that what we are learning or being forced to learn, and maybe parts of us doesn't wa don't want to, is that, okay, so maybe we don't like Donald Trump, or maybe we don't like the politi local politicians, or maybe we don't like uh, this or that kind of people, and blah, 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 blah. But we are all here on this planet with different purposes, and, and we need to learn with this that... Everyone has a right to be here and everyone was placed here. I mean, if you, be, if you truly believe in purposes and God and uh, that there is a reason for all of this and the, as far as you can accept and embrace it, it will be easier for embrace everyone as they are. They will, of, of course, embrace you as you are and it will make room for so because law of attraction is so active and that to me has all, it's also linked with Aquarius. Uh, in certain ways, because it's a, in, uh, the understanding of it, at least, um, because it's when we, we really can see, you know, with the, with the highest mind, uh, how things are connected here, um, that there's, all, there's, there's a connection between all of us. I am another you in Lakesh, you know, so there is this need for us to embrace it as it is and stop, you know, wasting our energy and time upon, uh, you know, complaining about this and that in the world, etc. Take a distance from it. Also, if people come, have con condescended comments about you, etc., etc., don't take it personal. Do as the Aquarius, withdraw from it. It's nothing to do with you. Know your worth, you know, and use it in the group. Fight for your light work or purpose. Go in and find what, find what it is you're here for and then start manifesting it physically by you know, choosing to, first of all, be realistic and take one step at a time. A Saturn is, uh, it's in Capricorn, it's at its home. It's one of the strongest planets right now, except from the Sun in, in Leo, of course, but they will, it will move out ne next week. So, you know, oh, maybe I should let you guys actually see this beautiful view instead of just my face. Wow, it's so beautiful here. So... <laughs> Again, if you met yourself in heaven after this life, what question would you ask yourself about what you achieved in this life? You know what I'm saying? What question would you ask yourself? We have the moon this week moving uh, uh, from Libra to Capricorn. It starts with Libra, activating the heavy planets in Capricorn with a square, making things feel a bit tense. 
though you know uh, sextiling the things in Leo, so it's at the same time it's evoking the things going on in your heart. Um, and then uh, the Scorpio thing still makes the aspects to, to, to Neptune and Jupiter. And uh, in Sag, we have uh, when when the I mean when the Moon enters uh, Scorpio, it makes the as the nice aspects to New Neptune. Uh, the trine and, and uh, conjuncting Jupiter. So that was be, well, in this week there will be different things awakened, and then in Sag it will when the Moon enters Sag it will be trining the Sun and Mercury, and that's of course also easier. Uranus uh, moving backwards, moving closer and closer back towards the regular trine. You know, this is one thing because many astrologers don't take you know the fixed stars. Uh, the canis, uh, no, I mean uh, regulus. Regulus, it's the king of kings, you know, and it, it's it's uh, it's in, in it's in Virgo now, and at the beginning degrees of Virgo, or uh, it was in in, in Leo, you know. Uh, a long story about regulus. I will make a whole show about that because otherwise we, we will this program will be far too long. But uh, what I just wanted to mention that I don't see many mentioning is the, that actually the Uranus, the, the Uranus uh, placement in Taurus is actually creating a grand sign now between Uranus, Saturn and Regulus in the beginning degrees of the three Earth signs. It is definitely time to manifest on such a deep level. And Regulus in Leo was the proud king of kings, you know, that just had the strength and the brave heart to show the world how to shine and how to rule, uh, you know, with big arm movements and, uh, you know, abundance in, uh, of passion and love floating from the heart and, and romantic uh, stirrings uh, being, being, you know, honored in, in certain ways. And, and now it's, in, it's in, in Virgo where it's, of course, it's harvest time. Virgo is so often criticized in many ways for being the critic. <laughs> so karma comes back to the Virgo energy, right? Um, but there's thing that one thing about uh, Virgo that we have to remember, and that is that's when we harvest the things that got seeded in Leo. And that's also when we harvest, like many places around the world, of course, it depends on if you're in the, on the northern or the, uh, on the southern hemisphere. But, you know, Oh, let me just check if the camera battery is, or if it's the camera is on. It was on, sorry, it's just to make sure, because sometimes when I do the report, then suddenly it's, uh, because I have it in some kind of a bag here, because of the rain, uh, it stops, and that's a shame, and then I have to start all over. <laughs> okay, so, here, it's the time when we harvest. I mean, this year in Denmark, for example, you don't harvest that much, we don't harvest that much, because it's been too dry. So, um, yeah, they were forced to, to harvest just for, for, seed, for, for, for food for the, for the animals instead of corns for, for, for food, for bread and stuff. But, but anyways, it's the harvest time. So it's a manifestation of the dreams. But which dreams? With Saturn there, it's, it's saying, this cannot just be this, the dream of the swimming pool and the tequila and, and the parties and the beautiful clothings. Yet, first we need to restructure this planet First, we need to do our light work. First, we need to, you know, with all this in Capricorn, look upon, you know, what is it that we can manifest that will last, you know, for the next 30 years until Saturn returns here. You know, what will last for us financially? What can we manifest that we know we can harvest? We cannot just think long, to, uh, short term as we do always like, oh, I will post this picture on Facebook so that someone likes it and, and uh, uh, oh, like tomorrow I want to feel good or whatever. No, now you have to think about if you want to feel good in, in 30 years, which job would you take? What would you do? You have to do, be the responsible one now. That's what collectively is, is, is asked of us. And if you are a light worker, don't hide. Step out into the open and show us what you can do. You know, the responsible choice can also be to show people how to play and love life, to spread joy out of egolessness, out of the interest of doing something for the group. It's not just for fun that the, that the eclipses here were, were with the, uh, falling on top of the notes, uh, no, uh, mass in um, Aquarius 
and we enter, just entered the, the age of Aquarius, we need to t think about unity instead of thinking about divisions and you, uh, I'm belonging to that group, uh, I'm like, because I am white or I am black and uh, so I don't belong to your group and, you know, this is not something that's, that's more in the States, I believe that they have, or I know that they have problems with this. But you know, it's no, we are earthlings, all of us. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't matter which color you are, you know, if, you, if you're someone who's like nagging people for being white or black or whatever, wait until next life, my friend, and karma will get you. You'll probably also be nagged for the color you are. How about that? Think about what you give and put out there in the world. And whenever you feed something by complaining about it, you, for, you enforce the energy. So stop focusing uh, upon what is so wrong. Start being a part of a solution instead by thinking about solutions, by starting where you are, by starting in your community, by starting you know, to make a difference with what you do in your life. And, and if you're like, ah, oh, but I'm just, you know, uh, someone who takes care of handicapped people. Great! You know, that was also always a part of my dream to, to be someone who did that because I love handicapped people. They, you know, some of them are like uh, mental handicapped people. They are the funniest and most heartful people in the world. Uh, so even there, even you if you just have two colleagues, you can even make a difference with them. By being true to yourself and your heart, and you, you will be inspirational for, and insp great inspiration for them. Let's go out uh, into the light again, just a second, and I will let you see what I see here as we end the collective report for this week. And if you've seen it so, until now, I congratulate you, congratulate you for making the responsible choice of actually seeing the collective report, because for me, that's where the gold lies. Uh, of course, the personal sun signs are also, but uh, yeah. But anyway, so this is about you actually finding, uh, staying true to your purpose and asking yourself what it is that you can do. And the sun is no longer burning mercury, uh, uh, so communication should have more space. Also, as we have mercury moving forward on the 19th, Things will start moving forward communication wise, but it's not until the 2nd of September uh, that we will, you know, be out of the cycle. Uh, so Venus is also moving closer to the square, uh, square um, uh, to Pluto. So uh, here, the changes in relationships will, will be potent on a very deep level um, and uh, not necessarily with easy let goes, uh, not without a fight, is what I mean to say. So. While she's still in between the sandwich of Saturn and Pluto, it's going to be, you know, truth time. Not truth, but truth time. Uh, you know, until the sword is taken up again. Uh, but um, again, what are the signs in your life about where you need to go next? I mean, for, my, for me, it's been the, the astrology. I've never done as many readings as I do now. People are really ready. And the kind of readings I do is only for people who really want to follow their heart and their purpose and dig deep. I'm not, I mean, I could, t I'm not the astrologer who should just like, oh, when will I be famous? Yeah, well, if I can see it's a part of your, fa uh, of your, uh, of your horoscope, but if it's just your ego talking, I'm not the astrologer you go to. Because I only get the horoscope, I mean, every time I get a horoscope, I'm like, shoot, man. I, I can really see that I get people who are light workers with a huge L that are really ready, you know, to make a difference. Um, so, yeah, if you're on this channel, please, I hope that I can give you some kind of strength and inspiration. And also, you know, whatever you had to let go of, cherish and honor in your heart what it gave you. And know that, that you can carry it around forever and ever. It never, true love never dies. You can use it, you know, like, a, like in those kind of computer games where you actually pick up, you know, some, some kind of, I don't know, treasures and then you can use, you can use it as a, as a weapon or a skill or a strength or whatever. You know, um, the people we meet are our teachers in life and they always give us something for that backpack uh, of tools, of strengths that we can draw upon. So instead of being sorry for them having left, then see what it was that they gave you. And every time you need that strength, use it, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, 
Thank you for watching uh, the collective report. So this is a poem about Mooney, my big dog love. Before we start, you now see a clip, two clips where she was in a music video, two music videos, and she was on television with me in the background. And then you will hear the poem. Thanks for watching. Maria Maria, on iTunes, Spotify, and Amazon. You live on these three. Yeah. And so are there Rainbowland.dk, as I mentioned before, under music. There can you also see videos and hear from us. I just, just, we, we want to photograph you, sorry. Emmanuel and Celine, can you turn back? Can you just turn back? Oh, sorry, I want to... Tone, my beloved, the baby, my best friend. I was born on the 23rd of July 2003 and died here on this very lane right here where I'm gonna stand on the 8th of the 8th 2018 three days ago four days ago this poem is for you You came to me like an angel in disguise. You came to me like a blessing of, blessing of surprise. The greatest gift I got in this life perhaps. A journey of 15 years with your cute little face on our laps. I'm so relieved to know that you now stroll the forever beautiful fields. Here you can rest, here you can heal. Not a poem, no match, matter which song can describe just how grateful I am for all of the feelings inside. You taught me to be present. You taught me to be, just to be present in silence. You daily removed my life 
from the outside world's television and violence. You guided me into the forest to meditate and pray. For a world in peace, you showed me the way. The answer I found in raising awareness by being in my heart here and now, enjoying life to the fullest, sharing the love that I found. This is this you master, you master of sin. That's why dog is God and you are my eternal friend. I promised Nikolai for your sake not to cry until you had left your body. I waited for you to die. <sighs> Ten long hours of seeing you breathe out slowly, fighting to stay alive. This promise I couldn't keep 100% and my tears keep falling like rain. I miss your cute little face so much. <laughs> and it feels like I'm going partially insane. <sighs> but deep in my heart, shining a light. It's you, you never left me. I feel you so alive. <laughs> you show me images of you running the fields of gold. As if you were here, right here, just in another dimension. And as if you never grow old. <laughs> or grew old. As if you never grew old. It's just my ego wanting you back. You were my best friend as my mother died. It's just my ego wanting you back. You are my best friend as my mother died and I lost love. And all the tests that I tagged. Now I'm here crying, looking at this picture of us. From a day in September 2007, full of adventure and trust. A trust in that life always only gives you the tasks. The tasks we can handle. Which will make us grow as, at last. Mooney my Mooney. Mooney my love. Let's go to your grave. Chama was your name from the breeder and that's what you are. Ever charming us all in music videos, commercial photos, etc. Just like a star. So intelligent that I cannot believe that I was so lucky to have you next to me. If I was to describe you only in one word, only one phrase, always so happy 
is the song I would make about a dog that came down to a planet to love and to play to teach us all the joy is a choice and the true love never ever ever stops thank you Muni for all that you gave you are this is her grave here she rests at this beautiful beautiful place where we now live and when we're in Denmark uh, and not in Tokyo so Muni And I, all the times we shared the most was in the forest where we meditated every day for eight years as I lived and we lived in the forest very close to She would just sit next to me for hours and hours as I would sit up a tree and meditate with me. Wow. She gave me so much. She means the world to me and I will keep her forever in my heart where my mother also is supporting me every day with all that they gave. So when people die, they never truly die. They stay with us. They're ever so present and alive. We just need to turn inwardly, feel our heart and dare to open the door and enter and see what lies for us there. All the love that we think we lost, but we never did. This tree just spoke to me. The diva of this tree. It doesn't want us to. It doesn't want us to tear it down. Shit, man, Mooney. Summer time, summer time. Summer time, summer time. Summer time, summer time.